Hi everyone, my name is Kavya and I work with the Azure Identity and Authentication team at Microsoft. In this video, we're going to talk about how an Azure AD tenant administrator can include and exclude users and groups from conditional access policies. Let's get started. For this scenario, we go to the Azure Active Directory blade and then scroll down and go to security. Click on the conditional access blade where you can see the list of policies that you already have defined. I'm going to create a new policy by clicking on the new policy button. Let's give a name for my test policy as test policy for inclusion and exclusion. Under the assignments tab, I go to users and groups and I get these few options available. So none indicates that no users are selected to fall under the scope of the CA policy. All users includes all the users in your tenant as well as the B2B guest users. The select users and groups has a few options under it. The first one being all guests and external users. So this selection includes any B2B guest and external users, which means that any user with the user type attribute set to guest will fall under the scope. The directory role option allows you to specify a specific set of Azure AD directory roles, which is used to determine assignment. For example, you can create a very restrictive policy for users who are assigned just a global administrator role. The next one is users and groups where we can target a specific set of users. For example, if you have an organization which is building a HR app and you want to apply this conditional access policy to that app, you can select the groups which contain the members of the HR department and then add it here. The group can be of any type of Azure AD groups, which means you can have dynamic groups, security groups, as well as distribution groups. The policy will also get applied to any nested users and groups. Now for our example, I'm just going to click on the all users button here and I can see this warning that's popping up. So this warning says, don't lock yourself out which means that it's preventing an administrator from locking themselves out of the directory while you create a policy to all users applying to all applications. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the exclude tab so that I can exclude myself uh, being the global administrator from this policy. I'm going to click on users and groups here and look for my user. There we go. You can also select an exclusion group that you have specifically created and add it under here. So make sure that you save your policy settings before you test it out. You can also use the report only mode instead of switching the policy on before you test it out so that you can check the impact of the policy on your environment. You now know how to include and exclude users and groups through CA policies. That's all for this time and thank you for watching.